Hey guys, it's Caroline. Today I'm going to be doing a jewel tone makeup tutorial for you guys. And um, this is almost even a little bit out of my comfort zone, but it's a really big trend for fall. And I actually like it once I actually like tried it on. So I thought I would go ahead and show you guys how I achieved this look. And I'm already wearing it on this eye, which looks like this. So it's just kind of gold and green with like some blues and stuff like that, but I really like it and um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm wearing is um, this base and it's by Shiseido and the color is called Gold Lights. So just taking a bit of that onto my finger and I'm just going to wipe that, swipe that all over my lid. And that's just going to make sure that my eyeshadow doesn't go anywhere throughout the day. So I'm using it kind of as a primer. And it's obviously really pigmented. So the next thing that I'm going to do is take this color by Bare Minerals. And it's just a loose pigment. And the color is called True Gold. And I'm just really packing that on to a brush that looks like this, um, just like a flat kind of shader brush. And I'm just going to pack that onto my lid. So that looks like that. And the next thing I'm going to do is take this color by Trish McAvoy, and it's called Bronze, so it looks like that. And I'm just going to take that on a little brush, just a small little, like, in, mm, I don't know what that's called, just a little, like, eyeshadow brush, or eyeliner brush. And I'm just going to kind of pat that onto the outer corner. And then I'm going to take an angled eyeshadow brush, looks like that, and I'm just going to blend that through the crease. So now it looks like that, just really bronzy gold color. And the next thing that I'm going to take is... <clears throat> Um, let's see, my brow bone highlight color, which is called Bone, it's also by Trish McAvoy, and this is just a matte, soft, um, neutral color. And I really like mixing, like, mattes and shimmery colors. I don't really like doing, like, all of one. I think it creates a lot more depth and texture when you mix them. So the next thing that I'm going to do is take a little bit of this shadow by Revlon, which looks like that, and it's in the color Peacock Luster. I'm just going to be taking it on the other side of the angled brush and just using this like kind of flat shader brush, and I'm just going to put that right onto the outer corner, but not going anywhere else with it, so just right here. So now that looks like that. And the next thing that I'm going to do is take this Rimmel pencil and the colors in Jungle Green. It's just a soft coal eye pencil. And I'm going to line my um, waterline. Hmm. I'm actually going to do grabbing a different mirror because it's hard to like hold a mirror and do that so just 
just like that. And then I'm going to take that color by Revlon, the kind of blue peacock color, on a small little brush like that. And I'm just going to take that underneath my um, lash line. like that. So now the eye looks like that. And I really do um, like that look. I think it's really pretty. The only thing I'm going to do is just blend a little bit more to make sure that the colors are even on both sides. And that looks pretty even to me. So the next thing that I did is curl my lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on this side. And just make sure when you're doing this that you're curling from the root because if you curl from the middle or the top it can actually make your lashes look more like kind of stubby. Um, that's just something I've learned from trial and error. And I took my Maybelline Falsies mascara, which the wand looks like this. <clears throat> and I just gave myself a couple of coats of this. And I always like to build it up in the outer corner because I think it adds, I don't know, just like make sure, it makes it look like you're wearing like a winged eyeliner, but it's actually just your mascara. Okay, so that is the eyes completely finished. The next thing I'm going to do is contour my cheeks. And I'm using a color by Bare Minerals. It's called Warmth. It's just their like kind of bronze color. And I'm using it on a <clears throat> contouring brush by Real Techniques. And I don't really have very defined cheekbones, so I kind of use my hairline as a guide. So just kind of like, I don't know where that would lead to. And this color always reminds me of like a very chocolatey color, if that makes sense, I don't know. Chocolate's a weird word to describe bronzer, but that's what it reminds me of. Okay, now I'm just going to take this color by MAC, and it's called Plum Foolery. And this is the color that I kind of got with fall in mind. Um, I just got this last weekend. I'm taking it on a MAC 129 brush, just a short handle brush. And I'm just going to dust that on top of where we contoured. And then just blend it. I always just make sure to really blend whatever I'm wearing on my cheeks because I always want it to look, you know, natural. So that is the cheeks done. And the last thing I'm going to be doing is the lips. And I got two options. The first is NARS. It's called Boogie Nights. 
It's like a very magenta color. And the next is by Revlon, and it is called, let's see, Ruby Radiance, and that looks like this, which looks like a super scary color to me, but it actually looks nothing like that when it's on the lips. So I think what I'm going to do is to show you guys both colors, is just layer them. So I'm going to be using the Revlon one first. So that looks like that, just a really nice light coat of that, and it's just kind of a ruby color. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the Scary Intense Magenta Color by NARS, and I'm just going to put that on top. So yeah, that is the lips done. Now the only other thing that I would recommend doing um, is taking a little like concealer um, corrector color underneath my eyes. So that's just the final step and I just like to kind of just dab that right here. And this one is by Laura Mercier. It's from their um, concealer pot. And that will just like make sure that you don't have any fallout or anything since we used a lot of glitter. And just brighten up your skin. So that is the look done. Um, I'll back up so you guys can see it kind of how it would be. <clears throat> but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope that this was helpful and that you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!